DeAndre Jones uh, just got his waiver. Um, what does he bring to the defense in terms of uh, not just leadership, but in terms of tangible skills that you see on the field? Yeah, he's uh, you know he's an instinctive player. Uh, he's been around a lot of football, played a lot of football, so he shows very good instincts for his position. Uh, he's got good athleticism. He's very good at the point of attack. And uh, he's shown the ability to be able to rush the passer. And so uh, he brings a lot for us. We're excited that he's here. I'm glad that he's here. Gotcha. You're obviously replacing a lot on the defensive line. But where do you feel like that position group is heading into the fall? And how much are you able to assess that here and now as opposed to just having to see how they are in the fourth quarter? It's a big time. Uh, well, you know, they had a good spring, and, you know, we, uh, we got a lot of opportunity to watch them and evaluate them. You know, we're pretty multiple up front with some of the things we do, so they got to play a lot of different positions, a lot of different techniques. So, you know, as we go into training camp, it's going to be uh, about, you know, making sure we find those techniques, finding out exactly what everybody guy can, uh, what every player can do well and play to their strengths. But I thought they had a good spring. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. Coach, can you talk about what Antoine Brooks brings to your defense and uh, how he's going to be a leader on that side of the ball? Well, you know, Antoine uh, is a very good football player. Uh, he has a dynamic skill set uh, where he has uh, physical ability. Uh, he can run. Um, he's played uh, kind of a, in the past here, he played like a hybrid uh, linebacker nickel. For us, he plays safety. Uh, and he'll play some nickels, so we're going to use his skill set. Uh, he's good in coverage, uh, he's very good uh, close to the line of scrimmage, and uh, he's also shown the ability to, uh, to rush the passer. So uh, we're excited about the skill set he brings to, uh, to our defense. Coach Loxley talked about wanting a pressure defense, not a bend, don't break. This is not the way you want to play it. How do you see Maryland's personnel fitting into that scheme, and what's your view on pressure defense? Well, you know, um, from a schematic standpoint, uh, you know, we're basing out of a 3-4. And the 3-4, the one thing that it does give you, it gives you a balanced look where you can have the ability to, to bring uh, blitzers from different positions uh, without having to tip it off. And uh, we felt like going through the spring uh, with our outside linebackers and our inside linebackers, uh, they have the ability to rush the passer, and so they give us the ability to bring pressure and add extra guys. Again, we've got some bigger safeties that are physical guys as well with, the, with good athleticism, and uh, so they give us an ability also to be able to rush them. So uh, we, have a, we, we do have an attack mentality, uh, and that's how we're going to try to go after the offenses. A uh, guy like uh, Olu up front uh, mm -hmm. is a guy that's worked his way up and has etched out a larger and larger role. What's kind of your take on, on what he brings to the table and, and the effort that he brings to the table on a regular basis and how much he can help you this year? So he, when we go and we look at uh, defensive players, whether we're talking uh, or evaluating high school players or whether we're about in our own evaluating our own players here, there's always going to be three characteristics that we start at, and it's going to be smart, tough, and reliable. And if you have those three characteristics, you have a chance to be uh, very productive for us defensively. And Olu's a kid that fits all three of those. He's smart, he's tough, he's reliable. And the reliability thing is that 
you know, you got to be good in the first quarter, obviously, but you need to be reliable in the fourth quarter. And he just grinds it out every day in practice. He grinds it out every day. He's a smart football player, and he and for his position, you know, he's not a, a huge guy, uh, and he plays no sports, so he knows he's getting hit in the face on every play. So uh, he does have toughness. So. You know, whenever we talk about our players and they understand that, that every day they go out there, they're going to be they're going to be graded on smart, tough, and reliable. You're right, Josh. Coach, with uh, Keandre and Shaq now in the fold, and Ace and Chance getting a chance to get valuable reps during the spring, how, how much more comfortable do you feel with the linebackers than you did when you came here like six months ago? Uh, you know, it's been a, uh, good for me to, to see them all progress. They were all good in the spring. The addition of Shaq's big for us because when we do play 3-4, uh, you know, you have uh, Keandre and, and Shaq as your outside linebackers. You have Chance and uh, Ace as your inside linebackers. They have athletic ability, they have length, and they have instincts for the position. And so it's really, uh, for us, we feel like it could be a strength with us moving forward. Now, obviously, we're going to evaluate that as continued through camp, but coming out of the spring, we felt really good about it. Dave, I'm not. You're right, Coach. Mm-hmm. Coach, you're working with a, uh, a head coach who uh, obviously is well, uh, you know, stresses offense, at least it is. How is he hands on with you? Does he? Completely trust you to take care of the D. How's that work in this situation? It works good because you've got to remember his first nine years of coaching, he coached defense. So he has a very good grasp of the total game of football. Um, he's, uh, you know, he can just look at the tape one time. He's going to ask, hey, where's the tackle supposed to be? Where's the end going to be? He's very well versed in, you know, he talks a lot of offense. I, I got it. But he, his background started in defense. Uh, so he's been, uh, he knows what questions to ask, uh, what concerns he might have. He's been very good about it. He understands what we're running. We run everything by him, so he knows what we're running. Uh, but uh, he's involved enough, uh, you know, where he has a pretty good feel for what we're trying to do defensively. Coach, what, is, what do you bring from the NFL game to college? How does that change your view? from the professional side being back at the University of Maryland? Uh, you know, the differences are a little bit, um, football kind of is football. You still got to block, you still got to tackle, and all those type of things. Uh, you get a little bit more, and it's kind of been transcending that way up a little bit. Um, you know, everybody talks about the college offenses versus a pro style offense as well. You know, you're starting to see uh, teams like Kansas City. They, they run pretty much, you know, a college-style offense because the players that, that we have at Maryland or any university has, those are the players that are going up into the NFL. So, you know, they have to be able to adapt uh, to what players they have. So it's been good for me a little bit to have a little bit of that experience in the NFL. It's been a little bit of a learning curve for me, and uh, Locks did a great job when he hired the staff and the, the guys that he brought on as assistants on defense. They've been great help uh, in making sure I get acclimated. Some of the things I may have not seen in the NF, in the NFL offensively, they've been able to help. Uh, you know, this is why we did certain things versus this I didn't see. So. Uh, what I bring probably is just experience as much as anything else. I've been doing this a long time, and uh, I've been doing it mostly in the secondary, but I've been around a lot of good coaches uh, in the D-line, linebackers, and been around a lot of good. I've had a blessed experience in coaching. When I talk about Dom Capers, who gave me my first job in the NFL, who was a 3-4 guy. Go to Chicago with Levy Smith, who was a four-down guy, and we're really talented. So those experiences will help me and help me with the staff as we move forward here. Uh, last couple of years, uh, Maryland's had some problems stopping the run. Can you talk about the development of some of the younger guys, uh, and, as well as guys who've now finally gotten a chance to play, like like Kieran Howard, uh, and, and how that can impact, you know, how you guys can, can attack on, on that phase of the game? Well, you uh, you know, you always want to be able. You have to stop the run. And that's what you have to do, and that's just the way the game of football is. You got to be able to run the ball and stop the run, and you've got to be good with how you uh, line up. You got to play very good technique, sound. You got to understand gap control. Whether you're in a three-four, whether you're in a four-down look, you still have gap control, and you got to be smart with your eight-man fronts. 
uh, and how you're going to fit those, and you got to very you got to work diligently on how they all fit. And then it, there's times when you're going to play uh, with a seven-man box, and you still have to be sound in the way you fit the run. And so, football is a rep, rep game, so we just got to make sure we're doing a good job with reps, understanding what runs we're going to see and how we need to defend them. And just to talk about the personnel you have up there, and has anybody stood out? To well, we've got a bunch of guys up inside, and you know they've gotten a, a bunch of reps. We have both the Gaddy brothers have gotten reps inside. Obviously, we talked about Olu. Uh, you got Latez Rogers, who's going to be up in front, and he had a good spring, I thought. Um, you know, all those guys. We got Brad Colton back. He has not, you know, practiced, so it'll be our first uh, opportunity for, to work with him. But I thought during the course of spring, all those guys improved uh, up front with understanding the gap control and the technique that they're being coached. How would you kind of size up the, the state of the secondary as you head into camp? Uh, you know, again, it's training camp. You know, I think they're showing right now. Uh, we've had an opportunity to just kind of talk to them a little bit. Uh, the retention that they've had from the spring uh, coming into camp has been good for what we taught. Um, you know, a lot of those guys, you know, you don't have a lot of older guys other than you got, uh, you know, Marcus is older, Lewis, and you got Tino who's played a lot of football here, and you got Brooks, but then you got uh, Mosley, you know, who played some last year. Uh, you got Nick Cross in the mix, who, you know, obviously he's very talented. So it's going to be interesting to see how it all shakes out. It's just going to be a day-by-day -day process evaluating those guys and see if it continues to get better and grow in the system. And if I can follow up on that, um, I know you obviously haven't, haven't seen Nick Cross practice yet, but mm -hmm. what was kind of your evaluation of him? Uh, you know, he's obviously he's, he's a dynamic athlete. You know, he's got size, he's got speed. Uh, you know, we're going to find out how much what his uh, instincts are, his football intelligence, how well he retains things. Uh, but, you know, when you look at him athletically, uh, you really, really uh, were excited about what you saw as an athlete. With Keandre Jones now, you know, eligible, uh, you know, what do you see as him and Shaq Smith uh, as that linebacker, you know, do and how dominant do you think they could be together? Well, you know, it's hard to say right now at this point, you know. Uh, because we're just starting camp. You know, in, in camps where we're going to find out every day a little bit more about each guy. Keandre, we have a little bit better idea because we saw him in spring, and we're going to hope he can uh, continue to grow as a player uh, fundamentally and with his techniques as we go. But they both have good athleticism for the position, so now it's just going to be seeing how much they improve as we move, as we move forward. Is, is there an update on Isaiah Davis's health? And even though, like with the depth of linebacker, even though he's been a three-year starter, is this kind of a situation where he's going to have to come in and win a spot in that group? Well, yeah, you know, we haven't a chance. I haven't had a chance. As our coaches, we haven't really had a, a chance to evaluate him with us coaching within the system. You know, uh, he's been a very productive player here. Uh, you know, I watched all the games from last year. You like him. Uh, he's going to fit good into that group. Obviously, you need a good group core linebackers in, uh, in this conference and so we're excited to see he's uh he's he's going to be out there starting uh, today so uh, he'll get his opportunity for sure Any other questions for coach hope thank you guys appreciate it